welcome back to my channel my name is rashida and welcome to 40 to Happy. this is a channel where i hope that i'm inspiring and motivating you to take your 40s to the next level or whatever age you are just don't let age be a deterrent from you living your dreams I am 44 years old and I'm going into my second semester of nursing school. I'm very excited. It starts tomorrow, but I'm very nervous. Um, I decided that I wanted to record and vlog um, my journey as, a, as an older adult nursing student. I'm considered middle age. Um, there are people in my class older than me and um, I'm very happy to see them. <laughs> Before today's video, I wanted to show you how I have my notebooks organized for the next semester, semester two, which is pharmacology, and then I'm in nursing three, which is med surge. My first semester pretty much just went along with the PowerPoints and I wrote notes all over my PowerPoints. I had a stack of PowerPoints like this thick, just all over the house, all over my car. It just was not organized at all. Um, I got through class. I mean, I got good grades on my tests. I told you guys about that. It was, it was kind of a tough semester and I don't want to go through next semester the way I went through last semester. So I definitely want to be more organized. And with that, I have a binder system. So let me just get right into the binders and how I set up my notebooks this time around. First up, I have my nursing three notebook, which is med surge. I have three notebooks. I have this notebook, I have a pharmacology binder, and then I also have a notebook or a binder specifically for clinicals. Let's talk about the cover. I made the cover, which is the little insert here on Canva. I did use the free version for this, so you can do that. Um, you pick whatever font you want, write whatever you want. You find a pretty background that you like or colors that resonate with you. I tried to match my notebook here, my binder, um, and make your page insert for the cover of your notebook if you're into that. So as we open the notebook, this is my daily affirmation. Um, I made this also on Canva. So what I want to do is to be intentional about what I'm studying and how I'm taking um, my courses. I want to be intentional and I want to be purposeful because I want to be a good student. I may not be an A student, even though I'm trying for that. But even if I'm a B student, I'll take that because nursing is hard. This is in the beginning of my notebook. You can, you know, create one yourself, something that resonates with you, something that you want to look at that's positive, that's going to help you um what's the word i'm looking for reiterate that you are a smart person and you can learn new things and that's all that this says just a bunch of affirmations over and over again so that's at the beginning of my notebook this is my summary of units this is all the units that we're going to be going through this semester it's six units so we have six units we have six exams and i did my binder where i have um everything separated by units First semester, like I said, I didn't have a system and I was just taking notes and I had different books. First unit, we have immune disorders and respiratory disorders. My notebook is strictly going to go by units. I'm not going to have anything piled up in here, unit one, unit two, because I get overwhelmed and I don't want to think about the next unit if I don't have to. This is my school calendar. Every class, every test, breaks, um, whatever we have going on is on this calendar. And I have that I have that posted in here as well because that's important to know what's going on. If you don't have a planner and your class, your school gives you like a, a calendar like this, let this be your planner, save paper. Also for med surge, um, one thing that is very, very, very important that I learned last semester is that um, these electrolytes, sodium, potassium, magnesium, um, chloride, these are all electrolytes that we have in our body that is imperative for our body to function. So um, memorize this if you haven't, because you're never gonna not use it. It's always gonna be there. These levels are what keeps us living. So this is a printout that I got from, um, I think I got this from Etsy. Etsy has all types of templates. I can't even go into um, detail about what Etsy has to offer. They have every kind of nursing notes you can think of. So just go and explore. Sheet protectors, you can get them from Staples or whoever, whoever sells like stationary items. And so I just have my first unit here. And in this section, I got these from, where did I get these from? I think I got these from Etsy too. So what I plan on doing, because I heard that we weren't going to be getting PowerPoints. So um, I'm going to use this as my 
notepad. So I have lecture notes here. And I think this is so cool because it says your subject, then you have um, the module that you're in and the lecturer, the date and the week. So it's broken down um, very nicely for you. So you can stay organized. My brain, I work in compartments and I think this is gonna work well for me. Two instructors for this one class. So I can put one of their names here, whoever's teaching that class, so that I remember, oh, she said this. Oh, she said that. And, you know, I just made a couple of copies so that I can keep extra. And I think at the back of this, I have a chapter one as well. So whatever chapters you're reading. Oh, here it is. And again, I got this from Etsy. So you can... Um, go and purchase it. I think it was like 57 cents and I just made extra copies. Class, chapter, um, whatever textbook you're reading and the summary of whatever you just read. Make as many copies as you need. So for this semester, I did not purchase the textbook because it was just way too much money and I knew that I was going to be able to find it online. So what I did was I made copies of the chapters that we're gonna be using first so that I don't have to waste paper because you know you're not gonna use every chapter in the book. So I just did like three chapters and already you can see how thick this is, this is out of control. We're not gonna read every page, but I wanted to make copies um, so that I have it. I can highlight on here, I can write it. It's, it's the PDF format of the, note, of the textbook and um, that's how I'm gonna be using my textbook. And it's gonna be in here when this unit is over and we take the exam for unit one everything related to unit one is getting chucked under my table here where i have the rest of my um old semester um stuff and then we're just going to move on to unit two and we're going to do the same thing we did in unit one for unit two same lecture notes same chapter notes same powerpoints or chap um the copy of the book and then we're just going to go and just like that, I'm gonna take it out when we're done, take it out when we're done. At the back of my notebook here, I have a just a simple little cheat sheet here. I have a lot of cheat sheets um, with rounding and there's some math uh, formulas back here. And then I have some critical thinking notes, how to think critically and how to help you answer nursing questions. Okay. So pharmacology, which is also known as nursing to be in my school, I have a blue notebook. And I did try to make the same colors, you know, for the for the book. Again, the daily affirmations because nursing school can get very difficult. And if you, I, I just I don't I don't want to give up. I don't want you to give up. I don't want to see anybody fail. But um, it, it gets hard, and you need a pep talk, and you need to talk to yourself positively. And I'm gonna have it in every book. Um, I have. My syllabus here that I'm gonna just pass by. Um, everybody has a syllabus. I put my syllabus in the book so that I can know just the professor's um, information, their name, their office hours in case I need to go down there. The, the name of the textbook is in there. Um, and then also I made a copy of the units for this class as well. And again, we have five exams. We have five units. I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with my med surge book and work by units. And here we're going to say content for exam one, because that's how my professor labels it. Inflammatory and immunity agents. And then again, I have my calendar here, which let me just cover that. I have my calendar here again, which just is again a, a secondhand planner you can use this to write other notes relating to school on it um it has every date every test what we're going over what lecture what day and that's that so as you can see i printed out so for pharmacology she does give us powerpoints and um i've already started going through it and writing some notes so i did do a little bit of stuff here Already my head hurts. And chapter, uh, sorry, lecture notes. Same thing, just like my other book. Um, but this is blue, cause I'm trying to, you know, correlate and keep it the same. Got subject, we got module, lecture, date, week, same, same deal. 
And this is my nursing clinical book. I have a binder separate for that. Sorry for that glare. Designed all of these on Canva. And it just says 2023 nursing uh, clinical, a picture of a stethoscope and my name at the bottom. And this one says, it always seems impossible until it is done. So I graduate in 2024. I have to just keep looking at that. Like I have to see 2024 all the time so that I know at some point this is gonna come to an end. So for clinicals, these are important to have because you do assessments on your patients and you need to know what is normal, what's abnormal when you are doing a head to toe assessment. So I have my little uh, reference sheet here so that I remember what a normal and an abnormal is. I have some loose leaf paper in here just for notes in case I need to write anything. And here I have another um, positive quote affirmation that just says I am capable and other stuff that I'm capable of. Some more items that I got from online. This is from Nurse Sam, she's on Instagram. She has a whole website full of her um, nurse, her nursing notes, almost had a tongue tie. Um, hypotonic, isotonic, and hypertonic um, IV solutions. This is something you need to have memorized also. So I need to look at this every day so it just pops into my memory when I need to reference it. Actually, these are Beyonce song uh, references. So all of her, these notes anyway, are Beyonce songs. Um, get me body fluid. Isn't that cute? And then this one was me, myself, me, my veins, and I. What kind of veins to use for drawing blood or uh, setting up an IV. And some more um, information here. Here's another cheat sheet. Uh, about your electrolytes. I have this in my other book you saw and I have one here. This is a different one. This is from Simple Nursing. I love Simple Nursing. Um, Mike is his name. His videos and information is uh, life-saving. I'll say that. Here I just have some pharmacology tools. My last instructor um, supplied us. She gave us like these little folders with uh, reference sheets in them. It has a lot of dosage calculation formulas, but I already have one that I use and I like to use. Um, but I do have this in here just in case I ever need it. And at the back, I just have practice math questions that I'm gonna be using throughout nursing school. So I love to have that in my notebook, just looking at questions to remember how to do them. Normal assessment findings. So it's just like the, the sheet that I had, but in a smaller version. And most likely I'm gonna keep this in my pocket this is what you should do as a pocket reference. And that's that. Thank you for tuning into my nursing organizational video for nursing school uh, for semester two. I hope that you have a wonderful, happy new year. I hope you have a great semester, that you learn a lot, that you retain all the information that you're learning and that you can apply it to whatever situation you're in while you're at clinical or in class or whatever. And with that, I'll talk to you later.